Hi everyone, Miss Shell Crafty Servings. We're gonna make some fun, cute little ideas with the wood acorns that's going to brighten people's day. I could see this doing this in an office or um, if you go visit someone, just leave some of these lay around somewhere. So it's just a fun little cute idea. So I think it's cute anyhow. You know, maybe it could be a, a secret kind of thing that nobody knows where they're coming from. So make sure you come on and say hi. Let me know you're out there. Hope y'all had a good day and a good weekend. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Paula. I think I need maybe some paper towel to try or if you have an old towel or something that'll sort of hold these in place. Hi Kendra. Hey Sandy. Just crumple this a little. Hi Jane. Hello Cindy. So I posted the other day we're gonna do something sort of fun with these wood acorns. Somebody said they got them at the Dollar Tree um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99 and, of course, 40% off for a while now. So I hope your Hobby Lobby still has them. Or Dollar Tree if they have them. Hi, Lori. Hi, Margie. Well, it's good seeing you all, too. Hello, Kathy. My weekend was really good. It was awesome. Yeah, just, just a lot of different things. Started off with football game and went out after that and... Um, yesterday just got my shopping done. Today visited mom and grandkids, delivered the costumes. Did, did you see what I posted today? I posted one of them. So our little Mario man. So, all right, we're gonna do several of these. I don't know how many we'll do. All right, so these are just so cute. And I thought, you know, you can paint them up like acorns. I'm not gonna paint them like acorns, so. We're gonna make we're gonna make little winter ones, and we're gonna decorate them up. My idea again is going to be that just to make it a little bit fun. You know those painted rocks that people find. You know when they just leave around for somebody to find. We're gonna do that with these, but you can leave them around office, around somebody's house, and like I said, it could be like a secret kind of thing. You just all of a sudden they appear on somebody's desk and you don't know. Hi, Joyce. All right, so we're going to paint them like snowmen, okay? And we're going to get different little faces, different little decorating, and just make it sort of fun. Hey, Dana. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Sandra. All right, so I'm going to use white for all the faces. All right, so I'm gonna put enough of that here. And then I'm gonna get out, so the hats can be different colors, right? So we're gonna do maybe a blue hat. We got some people meeting on here, some mutual from Indiana. Hi, Grace. All right, and we got a, we're gonna use some gray. So, okay, so if I didn't say what color this is, this one is ocean blue deco art. All of mine here are deco art. This is a gray sky. Now some of these we'll have to use for decorating. We're gonna use some of the paint for decorating or we're gonna use some markers for decorating. I don't see the costume, I'll have to look. Yeah, Kathy, so today it was Mario Man. He was wearing, he was wearing it in the picture and he had taken down Bowser, his big sister. So you only see part of hers. So I'll show one every day, maybe. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Marjorie. So Marjorie just sort of reminded me today. Oh, just seeing her name reminds me. I knew I was doing this, but are you ready for a mystery hostess party? I am. All right, so we're going to have a mystery hostess magnolia party again. My plan is to post, like, early this week, I'll post the link for the party, okay? But the party actually won't be until next week. Um, probably Wednesday night will be the actual party. But I can post the link early, so if anybody wants to just 
soft and already get in on it, it's going to be there. Okay, I just got multiple colors. You can see they're just all sort of primary colors. It doesn't matter what color. Use what you have. Oh, I need orange too. We need orange nose. But I'll also show you, you can use marker for the nose. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. It's a lot of work on those costumes. It really is. But it's worth it to me. It's worth it. Um, seeing their faces and making what they want. It's all worth it. All right, so I think I'm gonna need a little extra black. Hi, Mary. Okay, so I've just got a bunch here just so that we have, I have it all ready. Just any colors will do. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my paintbrushes. And I'm gonna first start painting white. So when you're painting a light color and a darker color, usually paint the light color first because the dark color can clean up on top of it where the white is hard to cover on top of a mistake on a dark. Yeah, Kathy, I enjoy making them. It's a, like I said, it's a lot of work. It takes me lots and lots of hours. So I started already in July this year. Um, okay, so again, these are wood acorns that you get. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99 for a whole bag of them in the fall department. Um, somebody said you can get them at Dollar Tree also. But I'm not painting them as acorns. I'm doing fun little trinkets that my picture is, my thought is, and I'm guessing if I bring them to my office, I don't know if anybody's on here that's going to see it. They might be. Um, they're too shy to comment though. Um, if you just leave these hiding around the office or not hiding, but all of a sudden they appear on somebody's desk throughout a day or at a house, you all of a sudden leave it there. Or, you know, I think it can bring a smile to somebody's face and isn't that important? All right, so I'm just gonna paint white on all these bottom ones. My five-year-old grandson wants to be Santa for it. Grandma is going to get it done. All right, Grace. Awesome. Yep, you do what you have to do, right? All right, so again, I'm just going to do all the white first, and we're going to decorate these up a little bit different, each one. And different faces. We're going to make them cute. You can definitely do acorns to the same, do the same thing, but that would be expected. Hi, Sandra from Wyoming. I've never been, let me think, have I been in? Oh, I think we maybe just touched being in Wyoming. Because isn't that, if I'm thinking right in my geography, is that right below Montana? I think, I think we didn't go through there. Just the, the top part of it. I think when we went, I don't know if it was to Yellowstone or, or yeah, somewhere. All right, we need prayers for Carmen. I see there's a, um, somebody telling her to feel better soon. So definitely prayers for Carmen. I missed the post. Hello, Sherry from Canada. Do you have snow in Canada already? I know we have a follower on here. I think she's already on tonight. I think I already said hi to her. Um, is from Alaska and she's got snow. They've had snow for a few weeks already. We've had gorgeous weather. We have been having 60s and 70s for weeks. That's unusual for Wisconsin. So we'll take it as long as we can get it. Okay, I'm doing several of these because these aren't going to take long. So, and we might need a second coat just to make them nice and bright and white. You don't, Sherry? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is about Alaska, but yeah, Kathy, I think you're on here. You, yeah, the snow there. Crazy. Do you have, do you, how long do you have snow, Kathy? If you're out there, how long do you have snow in a year normally? Oh, 
I see Kim is on here. Hello, Heidi. Um, make sure um, anybody that crafts, you can go ahead and drop your Facebook link to your page. Let people know you're out there. Hoping there isn't any snow up in Wisconsin for a few weeks driving up to Manitowoc. To see your mom. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Sharon, I am so close to your mom then. Did you know that? You might you might know that. Yeah. I'm not far from where your mom is. That's the Hobby Lobby that I always go to. So that's sort of funny. That's a coincidence. I'm curious how you found me then. If it was through because you were local? All right, we'll do one more up here. Still wearing shorts in the south. You can keep the snow all in. But, you know, I, there's a lot of people wearing shorts around here yet. It, it, you just don't get that normally in October in Wisconsin. It's an unusual year. Like I said, I'm not complaining at all. It was beautiful watching football game Friday night, and I know last Friday night, same thing. It was gorgeous watching. Yeah, Marjorie lives in Manitowoc too. That's a, that's funny. Is it getting blurry and then clearing up for anyone else? All right. Anybody else having blurry problems or does is that Lee? Let's see. Susan or does Susan need to go out and come back in? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm getting blurry. In River's Edge Assisted Living. In River's Edge, okay, and I even went there and visited in there. Um, River's Edge. Okay, that is really a small world. It's Facebook, okay. Oh, it is for everybody. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it'll clear up when we start. Okay, now I'm just giving these just a quick second coat and then we'll start um, do the caps. And I'm just laying them down on paper towel. It's not really um, taking any of the paint off when I do that. It soaks in fast. I do have my heat gun here if I need it, but I don't know that I'll need it. Hey, they're such pretty little acorns. I have sad face with the snow already. Oh, Kathy, I'll bet you do. Hi, June. All right. How many of you have these little acorns? And you know what? If you don't do this with acorns, you certainly could do this with other things. Like I said, my goal with these, and they are going to appear if, um, and like I said, if people are watching my office, which some of them do, I know, and they don't always comment, but um, they might see them appear around the office just to give a little smile. It's going to just appear in places. And that's my goal with these is just to make little smiles. Um, and I don't know if they'll know where they came from. I think they will. I mean, they know I craft. But um, wouldn't that be fun? You could, if you don't have acorns, you could do this with, you know, like I said, do it with the stones. You see people that have the painted stones that they just lay in places, but do them, or like get little wood discs. They have little wood discs at Hobby Lobby, just real little ones. Do the same thing with them, you know, just, just make faces on them. Where on here I can do the hats, but you can make faces and make people smile, right? And blurry and then refocus. That is weird. Are you sure it ain't all your eyes? <laughs> no, it's Facebook. All right, one more. And then we're going to start painting the hats. And there's not much decorating. There's You could get so creative with these. So creative. All right, we got all that white done. Do it with Jenga blocks. Oh, that's a great idea, Deborah. 
We're going to be in the 30s here by Wednesday. Oh, goodness, Sandra. 30s. Oh, Gala. Tornado watch. Are you in the south? Don't worry, I clean my glasses. <laughs> All right, Susan, but the glasses getting cleaned didn't work. Thank you, Paula. Is it true? <laughs> People who know me are saying, are you kidding me? All right, I'm just going to roll these a little so they don't stick to my paper. Okay. I just got to give a little shot of heat to a couple of these so I can paint without getting it on my fingers. River Woods. I know right where that is. I, I know exactly where that is. I wonder if it could be done on the black acorns. Oh, absolutely. It could, Lisa. See, and I didn't see them. Oh, that sounds like a cute idea, Peggy. Making pumpkins out of these. That's a great idea. See, and you could definitely do the same thing as fall, what I'm doing. So um, you could do it as little scarecrows. That would be a fun idea too. So this, you can just take this so many different ways, all right? Like I said, it's meant to be fun. It's just a little project, nothing complicated, just meant for fun, okay? Just thinking a little outside the box. I know I'm gonna drop one of these on me. With the pink angle look over you. And then this is a little dog food. You make your own dog food in the hospital and told plan to be there for three weeks. Okay, I'm missing that. Somebody has to be in the hospital for three weeks. Um, prayers. I think that's what I saw. That is a heat gun. It's a heat gun from Magnolia. Um, I'm a creator of Magnolia. Like I said, we're gonna have a mystery hostess party. Um, I haven't done one in a couple months, so. Yeah, and so if you need a link, let me know. I can put my link out there for it, but yeah, it's, a nice, it's nice. And it's got two speeds. That was the highest speed, and it's got a low speed. All right, so I'm gonna do each hat a little bit different. Let's do a red one. I think I could get away with one coat for each one. And like I said, I, I can tell you all the colors that I'm using, but it doesn't really matter. Just use the colors that you have. If you have paint markers, do it with paint markers. And I'm just trying to get under the brim of this without making too much of a mess, but it isn't perfect. All right, and then just paint the rest of that cap. So this one could almost be like a little Santa, couldn't it? And I'm just gonna hit it with a shot because when I lay it down, I don't want that red to come off. Well, thank you, Margie, for the stencils. Oh, I hope you enjoy them. I love stenciling. I do love that. Okay, that's that one. Let's do... Um, why don't we do... I should have more colors out here. Let's do let's do a pretty blue. Don't you love that color? I don't know what they may mean for them surgery, weather, etc. Thank you, Susan, for everybody praying for everyone. We all need that, right? There's so much going on. Here on the West Coast, we paint the kindnesses rocks. See, and that's what, this is my take of the rocks, okay? I know it's not rocks, it's little wood acorns. 
but this is sort of a fun take. I could see this happening, like I said, in an office, even if you work in a factory, if you are stay at home, um, stay at home, this could show up in a, maybe on a neighbor's front step and all of a sudden they see this little thing out there. Um, make sure it's a neighbor that's not gonna be creeped out by it. I might do two of these blue ones. Hospital benches, yeah, absolutely. And like I said, this is gonna be my take on those little, but this is gonna be winter ones. All right, Kathy. Like I said, I, I told Marjorie earlier, she had messaged me. Um, my plan is I think even by tomorrow, I might post that I'm going to be having the mystery hostess party, which would be next week. I think the actual party will be next Wednesday, but tomorrow I will start a post, I think tomorrow. And I'll already create the party link that if people want to order, they'll be order be able to order already ahead of the party. And you'll get your stuff then extra early. You don't have to wait to get your stuff either then. As soon as you order, it, it, it does get sent. So it's not like it has to wait till the party is closed. So I do plan on doing a post. I think tomorrow I will get that done. Barring any, any complications of anything. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't had one in a while. And Shannon said she'd come back and call trivia or whatever. I might do something different. We might do a bingo or something. We'll, we'll have to figure it out. Yep, you can leave one wherever you go. Like I said, I think this is, would be a fun idea just even in an office. You know, because I just picture my office just to leave all of a sudden somebody will find it somewhere. I did that with, um, what is that, Elf on the Shelf. I brought them to our office. Of, this was like before COVID. I brought them to our office, and nobody expected it, and he appeared, and then everybody wanted to take their own turn at doing something. So I was worried I couldn't make it out of look. Used the little wooden apples to make pumpkins, LOL. Oh, that's, okay, so you used the little wooden apples. You know, but you could probably do something with these. You probably could. All right, let's do, um, let's do a gray hat. Well, that'll be a little pretty one. And then we'll do a couple black hats, I think. I said, whatever colors you have would work perfect for this. Little tiny embellishments that you have will work perfect for it. Yes, I got this bag of wood acorns from Hobby Lobby. Now, some people said that they had acorns, but they might not be, they might be flat ones, I'm not sure from Dollar Tree. Trying to control that with one finger isn't the easiest. Me too, I have rocks all over my house, painted and not painted. That is so cool. I love that idea, and that's why I come up with this, is I just love that idea. I should have done another red one and do that. and just try and get along that edge. I love how so many of you paint rocks and leave them places. I love that. I love seeing them. So now how many are you gonna paint like little acorns or whatever you find? All right, let's do, let's do this one black. The black pops out really, really well. Dollar Tree and Acorn, just that small, just smaller and perfect. See, and I didn't, they don't have them at mine. 
they don't have much at mine. So, and even the other one that I was going to for a little bit, when that one just does not have much either. It was good for a little bit, and just when I find it, it goes away, or it's not good. All right, one more. That's right, darling. When people find them, it makes them smile. And that's that's what you want to do, right? All right, let's do one more black one. And then we're done painting this part, and we'll start making the faces. And then we'll just decorate them up a little bit. That part doesn't take long. Thank you, Teresa, for passing me on. Anybody likes what I'm doing, you know, please pass me on. That really, really helps S spread it around. I mean, just because you're a follower doesn't mean you get to see it. So the more people that pass it on, the more people that Facebook will show it to. So that is very appreciated. Okay. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. Thanks, Debbie. Like I said, this is my take on the, the stones, the painted rocks. Hi, Brenda. I am making a fun little take on the painted rocks, only we're doing acorns and we're making them into winter. So we're going to make them so that you can leave them lay on people's desks. You can leave them at somebody's house. You can leave it on a shelf in a grocery store if you want, or on a bench, just like the rocks. Thanks, Sue. Are these going to be gnomes? No, actually, that would be a pretty cute idea. Oh. I had the fur out, and then I put it away. That would make the cutest little gnome, wouldn't it? I put the, I put the fur away. Well, it's over there. All right, so let's just start a little bit of decorating. All right, simplest thing to put as a trim that I found. Now this is going, let's make this one um, a Santa one. Okay, you got pipe cleaners. And I wanna put that on first because then I know that the eyes aren't gonna get covered. And we're gonna just twist that on. and cut it off with my bad scissor. Okay, so we already got a little Santa hat, right? Or sort of a Santa hat. So um, let's do, we're gonna do some red ones. Do I have other colors? I didn't even grab other colors. We can do, some of them doesn't, don't even need these. Just tuck them up, and like I said, if you are gonna put these on, you could also wrap it with a little bit of jute if you want, um, just to make a little fun trim. Let's do, I should, let's do a, let's do a white on here. Random act of crochet kindness. I haven't seen them. And let's do a white one on the gray too. Actually, let's do a red one on the gray. Thank you, Marjorie, for passing me on. that you could tie um, some jute around it if you want but this works really really good <laughs> they just make cute little let's see, I'll set that aside all right let's put a black around here 2022 on the back of the hand and then trick-or-treaters instead of candy Okay, I missed that. On the 
back and hand them out. Oh, you're saying hand little things out like this. As long as they don't put it in their mouth like little ones. Okay, let's just do... Let's do a black one on here too. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. I'm good, Tammy. How are you? We are making little tiny little gifty things you can leave lay around for people, just like your painted rocks, only we're using these little wood acorns from Hobby Lobby. We painted them up. And we're making little, like, little snowmen, all a little bit different. You could do this as little scarecrows, um, anything like that. All right, so now we're just going to do some of the faces. So um, what it, easiest thing you can do, um, if you're good with um, paintbrush, you can use the orange paint and do noses. But you can also use the little... Markers. Now these markers, I, you can use any little markers. These are little fine point ones though. Um, I found them at my mom's. So we're using. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the nose first. And I want to make sure it's on the opposite side of where I closed it up. So that this will be the front. And I'm just going to do different noses in different directions and different shapes. Because we're going to do each face a little different. And I'm just making it a little triangle, like a little carrot nose. So just just do that in all of them. Make, them. make them a little fun. Let's do, you know the one where you always see the snowman looking up? Let's do one like that. So um, we'll do the point of the snowman up. I don't think you even see the eyes with that one. So that one we'll just do. I can parade once and hand it. Oh, painted rocks instead of candy. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. And then let's just try doing, let's do one the opposite way. And you can always add a little trim if you want. You can make fat noses or little noses. Let's do this one down a little bit so each one is going to look a little different just little noses and then we'll add on the eyes after all right let's do one um let's do it one over this way again I said, if you want, you certainly can use paint for it. Oh, I forgot. We need one more here. Let's put a red on here. Thanks, Margie. So that, the chime clock was, had belonged to my mother and father-in-law, and we had gotten that after they passed. Thanks, Grace. All right, let's do another. Let's just do another up and let's see. We'll just do a, let's just do a little weird looking one. Okay, and now we can do the eyes the same way. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white probably in the eyes, but it's just as easy. Let's do, we're gonna do black eyes on each one of them. So I'm just using a little black marker. And you could do different for each one. Like this one, I'm going to make. And that's the reason why I put this fuzz, the pipe cleaner at first, is so that you make sure you're not covering your eyes. And I'm just going to make him a cute little one. Oh, I know what I miss doing. And I don't have it here. Um, I was going to put a little bit of pink for the cheeks. Do you mind if I get that? Let me let me go get the pink for the cheeks.
I knew I forgot something. All right, I hope you talked among yourself. All right, so I just, I use blush. And because this is so little, I'm just using a little Q-tip. And we're gonna add that before we do the mouth in case we have the mouse going on, going on top. Okay, this one is really, really cute. We might have to do several layers of it. Isn't he looking cute already? Can you see that? It's looking really, really cute. Can you show the faces a little bit closer to the camera? Okay, let's see if you can, you see that one? Isn't he cute? So I love using the blush for that. Okay, let's just get a mouth on now. Um, I'm just gonna draw a happy face on him. Now you can certainly do coal faces. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyebrows on them too. Isn't it cute? Now, wouldn't you love to get that? Um, and now we're not done with it. We're gonna add just a little bit more to it, but we're gonna put him aside. We got him done, or, or partly done. Okay, so let's just do little, little different faces on each one. Okay, I'm just gonna do little, oh, this is the one where he's looking up. I guess I shouldn't have used the eyes. I think when they look up, you don't see the eyes, right? I'll show this up clo closer. That's what I use. Yeah, blush. Um, no, the blush won't rub off. Um, and actually, if you spray them with clear acrylic sealer after, which is probably what I'll do, um, no, absolutely, it'll stay in place. Thank you. All right, so this one, I did have the nose going up. This was the one where I wanted them looking up, but I forgot to do it. So let's just add some, some cheeks on him. I think I'm going to do the cheeks on each one first so I don't forget the cheeks because it just adds so much to them, right? So let's just do the cheeks. I'm going to take this out of my way. But yeah, no, it doesn't, it, you rub, you're rubbing it in pretty good. And like I said, I'm using a Q-tip and really rubbing it good. Thank you, Peggy. Oh, we need, oh, and there's more prayers out there. And as I get, as I get the faces drawn now, so I'm just doing cheeks and I'll show you um, after, after when we start adding the face on, I'll show you again. So all I'm doing is going through adding the cheeks. Nice rosy cheeks. Oh, I didn't get a nose on this one. Let's do a nose. Um, let me think. I don't know. Oh, black. Let's do a black nose. Oh, I could do a black nose. Oh, like coal. All right, let's You know what? So all I did was outline it with black because I already started it with black and then I did that little trim on there. So you make do with your mistakes. You just change it up. Darlene, I really do have the best group of followers. I, I know. And I thank y'all. I really do. Y'all care about each other. I have so many of you that if people ask questions, um, they'll pipe in an answer. I have so many of you welcoming new people. Um, I do. I do have the best followers. I have to tell you that. Um, I very seldom get angry comments. Sometimes I will, but man, you let that person know. <laughs> So it's like, I don't even have to take care of it. I do end up blocking, depending. If it wasn't too bad, um, I just hope they had a bad day, then I'll let them on. But, all right, so I think I got all the cheeks done. Oh, these are going to be cute. All right, I miss, uh, Kathy must have had a great idea. Okay, so let's get this black one back out. 
And um, let's do a little dot here, a little dot here. And we'll connect those dots. Got a little fat on that side, so I gotta get a little fat on this side. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. Oh, and I'll draw it down into a little, little mouth there. Okay, I'll show you what I did. Right. Sorry. When I'm concentrating like this, it's really hard. All right. So there's one. All I did, so it got a little thick where I was drawing and a little messed. So I just made a little bit thicker mouth and added, made it go down farther on the mouth so it looks like the mouth is open. All right. Let's do this one now. Um, I think this one we're going to do as coal. I said you certainly can use paint. You don't have to use markers, but some of you will find it easier with the markers. He's just a cute little one. If they come out in a bad mood watching you, we'll change that. Aw, Margie, thank you so much. No, we all have those days, though. We really do. All right, let's try doing, let's just do a little bit this way. And we're going to do a little bit this way. We're going to give this one eyebrows, which you're not going to see much. <laughs> he looks creepy. <laughs> this one looks creepy. All right, let's... Um, We're going to need to add, like, white pupil to the eyes. He looks a little creepy, doesn't he? So some of them are going to be cuter than others. Thanks, Lorraine. All right, this one we're going to make a crooked mouth. And we'll just do, let's see, should we do, like, fun eyes? Um, we'll just do little, I don't know what they'll be, like little U-shape I think they're going to turn out to be. So that one's just got a little crooked mouth on it. All right, two more. Okay, do I have another up and down one? I don't. I did both of the up and down ones that I was supposed to do like they were looking up. I did both of them like that. All right, let's do, um, I like those smiley faces though, right? So let's try doing, um, let's do a more open mouth one. I'll make it skinny here and I'll make it bigger down there. There we go. Oh, I like that mouth. Isn't he cute? All right, so let's think about the eyes. So you just play with it and think. I think, um, let's see. You know what? He's got a cute mouth. Let's do, let's do just little. So he's got squinty eyes because he's smiling so big. He's tipsy on eggnog. <laughs> You're right. Yes, in the fall department, Marjorie. In the fall department, they're in a bag like this. Okay. I only grabbed one bag, but I had them here for a few weeks. Sometimes if I grab several things, but no, I only grabbed one. I had them for a few weeks. All right, so do we do, um, okay, this should be a pretty little one. Let's do, um, I don't know if this is going to be pretty. <laughs> All 
All right, so I just do a little fun on the eyes. We just gave them little, I was gonna say we could put little dots like for teardrops. Yeah, Debbie, I mean, this is fun. Like I said, you can do this and make somebody's day by leaving them lay around. So after I'm done doing this, can you see you have a whole bowl of them in your house, just a little tiny bowl, fill it up with these and just take them and, and do something with them. All right, let's do another crooked mouth. Let's do it this way. Oh, he, oh he's creepy. <laughs> He's sort of creepy. <laughs> All right, so let's add some pupils. We got some creepy ones and we have some cute ones. So I don't know where my pen cap went. Hmm, did I drop it? I dropped it, okay. Oh, here, it's under here. All right, so, um, okay, let's add some pupils. And I'm gonna do that because now you need like a skinny tiny brush or if you have a stylus or like the point of um, a pencil. I'm just thinking that this is gonna be too big even. All right, I'm gonna use a little tip of a paint brush. But if you have like a pencil, just dip dip that in the paint and you could get um you could get the white um i'm gonna turn this so i don't get my fingers on in it um if you if you have a pencil just use the tip of a pencil or a toothpick we'll just add a little white in the eyes on that one that one's sort of creepy some of these don't need white um I'm just gonna put a little dot on this one. And it just adds a little something to them. All of them won't need them. Some of them are um, are the happy little squinty people. Yep, a toothpick. Yep. Pinterest has pages of still my face. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's, you can find snowman paint. It just, just Google snowman faces and you're going to find tons of them. All right, so I think that's all the ones. Oh, this one has, I'll add a little white on this one too. Just in the corner. And you know what we could do? I'm gonna add a little bit of red, because which is the creepy one? We're gonna add a little red to the creepy one. Okay, so this one is gonna get a little bit of red on the mouth. Did anybody else do that with their fish, with their paintbrush? It gets you that little point that you need. All right. Oh, he's cuter now. Can you see him? The eyes are still creepy and that mouth is a little creepy, but he's cuter. All right, let's do that to one more. I sort of like that. We'll do that to, we'll do it to this one because I think he looks a little creepy too. Add that little bit of a mouth. And you could do that with the red marker too, but as long as I had this out. There. Okay. Okay, so now I think, okay. And then the other thing you wanna do is you wanna just add a little bit of white you could do that snow tack too, um, that ha that's textured snow. Just add that little bit of white around on his hat. You don't have to be perfect at all with it. 
um, the more layers you do, the more texture it'll be too. But yeah, otherwise use the snow tech. And just make fun little, and so we'll just add that little bit of decoration on top. We'll add a little white up here too. Just add that little bit of snow on. Nothing perfect. It'll be pretty on this white or on the blue. Yes, the acorns are from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, just now this I did a little thicker. Make it look like a, it's a little snow on there. Like I say, you could use that snow tech and build it up on it and make it look like, like almost like real snow on there. I love him. He's so cute. So how many think they're going to do something like this? Even if you don't find the acorns, I'll bet you could get them on, on Amazon. Oops, I got them on there. Um, I could look to see if there's some on there too and get a link. But they're just so cute and easy. Won't they make you smile? I am on late, Christine. I started late. I, I think it was after 9.30 when I started. 9.30 our time. Can you tell I'm not doing anything precise on these? Okay. Um, just making it look like maybe that's a little bit of snow on there. You could also, okay, again, if you had a toothpick, you could do that. Um, you could do little berry leaves, like a little holly. Like I'll do it on this one. Just like maybe three little dots. It ain't gonna look that pretty. But just add on a little bit of holly on it. Um, okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do on the, on the hats for that. But let me show you what else we're gonna add on the hat and then we'll finish them off. So we've got the little, little pom-poms. So some of them have the little I have some that have these little sparkly things. So we're going to add that on, on a couple of them. And just on. So I know you can't see them that well. Well, okay. Use less glue. That one had pretty much. Just gonna hold that on there. I'm really pushing down on this one so you don't see it. Thank you, Christine. It's 11:35. Oh, Peggy. Yeah, it's oh, it's yeah, it's 20 to 11 here. And it's cute. Uh, let's do a little little white one. Thanks, Debbie. I only have one more thing to add on them. We're going to add a little scarf on them. So, um, let's just add. It'll be easier on here. I do hold, I am holding them down so that that glue really adheres good so that the, it's not falling off. Otherwise, if you just have that tip of it, um, Right, that's that one. Um, let's add, I have, um, let's add the sparkly red one on here. Oh, I did a sparkly red. Let's do a sparkly blue one on the gray. Are you making snowmen out of acorns? I am, Jenny. 
And if you're hopping on late, my thought is, is that these are something fun, just like your, um, your painted rocks that you're gonna leave around like in an office on people all of a sudden they'll appear on people's desks or at somebody's house it'll just appear in their house well make sure you're a guest in there um or if you're at the store um just just make people smile you know these pom-poms like these i really think they were hobby lobby um do i have Hobby Lobby has tons of pom-poms. They might have been Dollar Tree though too. It was, so these sparkly ones, they actually had, there's bigger ones too in here. They're sort of fun. I think they probably would be Hobby Lobby because they have all kinds. Um, let's get some of these out. Okay, let's, we're gonna add a white one on top of this gray, make it pretty. Or do I have a black? I have a black. that like I said I I like to push down on it just because then that's gonna get that ball down good and let it dry on there thanks Jenny thanks Teresa if y'all like what I do please pass this on that really really helps and don't you think people would like making these I would love to see these somewhere all right, let's add, we're gonna add a white one. I'm just looking at what I have left. White, let's do a white one on him. And then we're just gonna do little scarves for him yet. Thanks for all those hearts. Thank you, Sharon. Thanks, Sherry. Sparkle party for a few years now from the Dollar Tree. See, and that's maybe where they're from. They might be the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's add the, we're gonna put a green fun one. Oh, this is the one that had, I put the little green um, holly on. I didn't put any dabs for the berries, but we'll put that green one on there. Hi, Crafty Graham. How are you? Make sure you guys catch her link too. Anybody else out there, again, you can drop your link. Fabulous, they, they will be everywhere. I hope they are. Look at that. Look at him. All right, I have one more. Um, and do I do, I think I'll do a red sparkle on him. Actually, we're gonna do white on him. We're gonna have pom-poms all over this. How I have all these little ones, little baby ones here. Oh, that was way too much glue. Okay. We're really gonna press this one down. Okay, so we got that. Now we just have to make um like I said, you can definitely add more. You can add more of the holly. You could add, and I'm not gonna add them today, but you could add like little flowers. You could add little gems. Um, you could add little seed beads. That would be just really, really cute. I'm not gonna do it tonight just because it is getting really late. Um, but let's just add, um, let me show you what you could do for the scarves. So let's say we got this. You could add like little green, um, little green on here. Oh, that I could do. That only take a second. Um, oh, that would be really cute. Let me just show you. Let's do it on this little cute one. I'm going to get a little bit of glue on here. Just add like that cute little, can oh, it, you probably can't even see that, can you? Can you see that little doodad that I added on there? So you could add a couple of those cute little things on. Let's just do a couple of them. These are just green branches I had downstairs. Um, and I'm this is um, actually low temp glue that I'm using. I can't wait to put these in my office. Like I said, they're gonna appear on people's desks. Um, 
if people did not watch tonight, they're going to just happen there. All right, I lost. Let's just do one more. And you don't have to make them all the same. But let's add, um, let's add on this one. Can you see that green there? I don't know that you can even see it. Thanks, Dee. Uh, it, this isn't patience, though. This is fun. All right, so if you get, like, all kinds of fabric, okay, just scraps. This is where you can use your scraps. Um, and you can tear. This probably wouldn't tear very well. We'll see. Yeah, this one won't tear well. So we can make, I'll just show you how to make the scarf so we don't have to do them on all of them. But that's what will help get them to sit upright too. So you don't have to be perfect with, with the strips. Okay, we got a blue one. Let's um, tear a strip of this. Let's just cut a strip of this. <laughs> It'd be cute if it was tore, but I think I was tearing it the wrong direction. Never mind, we're cutting it. Yeah, I think that green really does add to it. All right, so I'm just cutting this because it's not tearing in the right direction. It's going to tear the other way. And I said, these are going to be our little scarves. Got that. Let's just do a little bit of this um, red checking on. That one tore. All right, and we'll do, see you know how you can do, like if you do a fall like scarecrow, use like a fun fabric like that for a scarecrow. But none of them turned out so bad that it didn't have to be a scarecrow. I just thought I'd have it here just in case. Um, just in case people thought they were really creepy, I could make it into scarecrows. I think they turned out all right. Okay, and this fabric I'm not tearing just because I'm going against the grain here. All right, let's just do a few scarves. And all I'm gonna do for the scarf, so let's do a blue one. I think this might be a little wide. And this also, I think, will help it possibly stand up. We'll see. All I'm gonna do is tie like I'm gonna tie a knot in a shoe but I want to make sure I leave it wide enough um, so that it'll be like a base to sit on. So I'm going to leave my finger in there, I think. And we'll just tie a double knot. This one probably should have been longer. Find that other end in there. Let's try that again. All right. I had it. There we go. And we're just gonna glue him on here. This one is a little bit too long on this side. Put the glue there, a little glue on the back. And so you're just going to go set that up on somebody's desk, right? All right, that's one. Let's do one with this. Okay. 
again, I'm leaving my finger in there just so that it's leaving a big enough hole. You don't need a real big hole for, for that acorn, but you do need somewhat of a hole. All right, let's do that with, let's see. I think we'll do that with, with this one. Add that in again, a little bit of glue there, a little glue on the back side. Oh, I covered his cute mouth. Oh, that was the one with the creepy mouth. <laughs> These could be so fun. Um, let's do this one yet. I already had one little tie here too. It was just little with a red and black check. Let's just put this one on. Um, that'll be cute on this gray one. Again, you want to make sure you're not covering the mouth like I did on that one. Do you like them? Oh, absolutely, they'd be cute as the, you said Christmas gnomes. These are little, thank you, Judy. All right, there's that one. Now that one, I gotta bring that back down a little because it wasn't really sitting upright. Let's just see if we can do that. Even if they don't sit upright, well, this one's not gonna sit. Even if they don't sit upright, you just lean them against something. All right, let's do this one. So you have sort of rustic ones laying here. I think that you could you could do like pretty red and thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Like I said there's so much you could embellish with these, just cute little embellishments. Okay, let's um we'll put this on the gray one, I think. See, some of these should be like, I think should be bright like brighter colors so we'll put that on there all right this is the last one um that i'll do i think i'll get some other fabric out he's gonna be just fun and cute we're gonna trim him up a little bit All right, let's see how I can show you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get to be able to show you all of them. All right, let me just show you. So we got that one, cute little one, him. I think this is my favorite. And then I still have to put scarves on these little ones. I got two here. Um, let's show him. And this little one needs a scarf. So I'll add the scarves on tomorrow when it's not so late. So um, should we do random at the kind of drawing quick? Let's do one, all right? Maybe some solid color ribbon. Oh, and actually, yeah, because I actually even had a ribbon out somewhere. The black, okay, let's just do that real quick. I did have that idea too. Let's cut that. We'll just do that quick on one of them. I don't think wired ribbon would work as good because it's so little, but, um, okay, let's just trim this down, trim this down. This one has a little bit of sparkle in. Him up a little bit. He wants to turn. All right, let's just add, we'll add it here. A little bit there, a little bit here. And we're gonna put him on this cute little dude. 
Thank you for, I think it was Teresa, did you say about the ribbon? Yes, I did have that here. So yeah, you can do a little ribbon too, just uh, decorate them up and, and he sits upright. So, okay, should we do random at the Kenneth's drawing? Blue's my favorite too. Yeah, I think the blue one is the cutest. Thank you, Sue, I appreciate it. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. So my idea, again, if you got on late, is that you're going to make people smile with these. You just all of a sudden appear on their desk somewhere. You know, just walk past them when they're not there or something. Put them on their desk. Put them um, on a bench somewhere. Just like your rocks, okay? Like your painted rocks. But let's have a little fun with the winter, all right? So that's a, I think that's my idea of this take on this, is just make people smile, all right? If you go to a nursing home, if you go to assisted living, leave one of them in their room well i don't know that might creep them out but or give one to them give one to them okay um it, it would creep them out if you just leave it there though i think so all right so all right oh peggy <laughs> you're sweet all right here we go here let's you know when i wait it for some reason all right here we go all right we got lorraine Lorraine, it's S. Selvaggio. Lorraine Selvaggio. Please private message me your mailing address. For some reason, all my comments are almost gone when I'm scrolling back right now. And I'm sorry because the people have been on commenting. I apologize. But I only had a little bit of comments is what I could see. A Facebook thing again. So, um, yeah, they would stand up with ribbon. But you know what? This is fabric. And look at how cute that one stands up. You know, it's just a matter of how you put it on there. If you have it, I mean, it's really a matter of how you glue it on is really a big thing. Um, yeah, this ribbon definitely does too, but you can do so many different things. So, all right, you all have a really, really good night. Um, I'm glad I made just must smile, Margie. I appreciate that. So, and we'll see you. I think I'll hop back on tomorrow. We'll have another live. All right, have a good week. And remember, random, um, no, random act of kindness. Yeah, remember that. Um, but we are going to have another mystery hostess party. I'll probably post details tomorrow with already a party link. The party itself probably isn't going to be till next Wednesday, but you'll already be able to shop early if you want to be included in on that party. So I will be posting that tomorrow. Um, Y'all have a good night.